Want alternative ways to share links on Instagram other than the one link we get in our profile? And of course, the swipe up if you have over 10,000 followers. In this video, I'll show you three alternative ways to share links on Instagram, all right? Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, busy people? Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media. If you have been putting all this effort into your social media and not getting a lot of results, it's frustrating, isn't it? Well, you are in a great place, because every week we put out another helpful video to help you focus on the 20% of tasks that drive 80% of the results. You want that for yourself? Take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter, and in this video, I'm gonna show you three alternative ways to share links on Instagram. The most obvious way is, of course, a link in your profile. Second is, of course, if you have more than 10,000 followers or a verified account, you can have a swipe up link in Instagram stories. That doesn't apply to most of us. So I'm gonna show you three alternative ways to share links on Instagram. Now, really quick, I wanna preface this by saying there is no secret thing where I'm gonna say, oh, as long as you use hashtag secret links, you're gonna be able to put a link on every post in your feed. I just wanna put that out there up front in case you're thinking I have some magical thing. These are just a few things I've figured out that have worked really, really well. So here's what I've named each of these methods, the multi-link link, the ask, and the poll. And the first one, the multi-link link, is by far the most popular. This has actually become very, very popular in the last year, year and a half. So you may have seen this one, but essentially it involves using a tool which creates a small mobile optimized page that you can update whenever you want. The upside is you can link to a bunch of different places. The downside is it's not necessarily the best user experience because you're asking a user in your post or your story to go to your profile, then click the link. So they have to click from your post or your story over to your profile, then click that link, then figure out which of the other links they are looking for and click that. But it is a way to have one link on your profile that links to a lot of different places and it's mobile friendly. Now on the screen here are some free options and there are some paid options as well. The second one I call the ask, and it's as simple as this. Ask people who are interested in the link to DM you to send you a direct message. I do this a lot in Instagram stories, but you can do it in the feed as well. And if you have something that is interesting enough, like you're not saying, hey, come buy this $1,000 program for $2,000. You've got a really compelling hook and a compelling tease. People will DM you for it. And it has worked very, very well for me. Plus, then you have the chance to have a conversation in the DMs. And then the third method I call the poll. And you can actually use the Instagram Stories poll sticker. And let me show you how this works. And my favorite is this one requires the least effort for your follower. The multi-link link requires a few clicks. The DM request requires them to send you a direct message. But in this one, in your story, you just say, hey, want to watch it? or whatever it is, you want the link, ask people to tap yes if they want the link, and you can see who voted yes by tapping the little icon in the lower left of your screen while watching your story on playback. And as you can see here, it shows you everybody who tapped yes, and that little paper airplane means you can DM them right here from this same screen. So super fast to DM everybody that requested the link. Plus, if you are charming and smooth enough, you can follow up the next day or maybe a couple days later and say, hey, just wondering, did you get a chance to check out that link or that video that I sent you? I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions about social media, you can search all of my videos, including some not here on YouTube. Just go to 5minutesocialmedia.com slash search. I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment, give this video a like. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. I will see you in the next video.